We're at the, uh, your, new, your second location, just a few blocks away from the first one. And um, so what do we got in here? So all this is, this is a mix of disposables, you know, uh, ligating clips, uh, staplers, sutures, stuff like that, and also PPE. We got everything from masks, gloves, bouffant covers, gowns, the works, name it, we got it. Wow, so, um, so you've got the staples and stuff, like Covidian type stuff? Yes, is that we do. Wow, dude, that's, uh, that's always stuff that's in high demand. And we were talking about the story earlier, which was in the old days running around upstairs mm -hmm. at the old uh, tobacco warehouse at the original yeah. location. This is much different. Yeah. This is much different. It's much more organized. Uh, we can actually we, we get a much better sense of what we have because we can lay it all out across yeah. all these buildings. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah. So, um, so what we'll do is like, so the disposables will come in like this, these pallets up here, yep. these, you know, six foot plus pallets. Yep. And if we were to do a truckload of, let's say like these gowns right here, yeah. we would only be able to fit 24. But if we break the boxes down and we sort them into these drywalls right here, which is what these are in the process of, of doing, and we'll cap them and we can double stack them just like they are right there. Yep. And we can fit 48 pallets in a truck instead of 24. Wow. Yep. Wow, that is way more cost effective. Oh, yeah. So um, with the disposables, um, where are these going? Are these some of these staying in the states and some going overseas? Or yeah, do you... some, some stay in the states, some get sent overseas. So I know with um, with iMedical, um, you know, we, we get a lot of these international orders. You know, a lot of them, as you know, come from beds and different things that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And then, but we, you know, but with the same process is, you know, cause you have a lot of the domestic companies that want the, um, that want the staplers, that want the Covidian, mm -hmm. but then you've got just so much other stuff that's still in really good use. And, um, you know, and you can kind of donate some of that or even, you know, just sell it at a really discounted price so that these places that are opening up facilities can get really good quality disposables. Yeah. And we were talking about how crazy these hospital systems are sometimes when they're getting equipment, using it for a very short period of time and then switching vendors or manufacturers and stuff comes out that's really not that old. Mm -hmm. Same thing with disposables. Yeah. You know? Um, and I know, you know, you see the same thing, but it's like all of a sudden they decide that they're going to change a vendor and, and all the old stuff's, gotta all the old stuff's gonna come out. And a lot of it's not only in date, but it's still, you know, good for another two more years. So down here is, uh, back here is like excess storage. And then over here is our recycle operation. So any equipment that is too damaged, damaged beyond repair, or just so outdated that it's no longer right. allowed to be legally used, we'll uh, take the machines apart and recycle the various parts and pieces, wow. plastics, metal, circuit boards. And uh, that way, uh, there's still a use for it somehow. That's great. Wow, this is really nice, really nice space. Uh, we were talking as we were coming into building a lot of um, roll-up dock doors. What do you got, eight docks in this building? That's a, is that another roll-up door? Yeah, that's another roll-up door. Yeah, so I mean, it's really big, it's well lit, very high ceilings. So, well, this is great. So for people out there looking for disposables and especially the good ones, uh, we got the, the, the phone number on the last video, but do you wanna just say it one more time so people know? Yeah, it's uh, 804. 704-3423. Perfect. And like I said, we'll have that down below. So MST and Associates here in Petersburg, Virginia, um, you know, come to these guys for all your host of stuff. I mean, I, I've always known and we, I did I just never was a much of an endoscopy guy. I know you always had endoscopy stuff around, but that yeah. was just not my forte. But, you know, once again, for people out there looking for endoscopy, looking for bed stretchers, disposables, pretty much everything. That walkthrough that we did really had a good overview of a lot of equipment. Yeah. So, um, Alex, thank you so much for your time today, and uh, we'll look forward to catching up with you again soon. Absolutely. All right, so, Alex, I kind of thought we were done. Yeah, no. but but uh, <laughs> dude, we just came into the mother load like that first little room and two that we were in. But like I, I we had to turn this back on. This is an astronomical amount of disposables. I mean, wow. Yeah, the vast majority of this is going to be your PPE, your gloves, masks, gowns, face shields, bouffant covers. That's going to be what most most of this is. That first room that we saw, that's going to be mostly like your disposable instruments yeah. and uh, um, surgical apparatuses and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So um, I'm just going to kind of walk and talk. Um, not that I'm good at multitasking, but I'll at least try. 
this whole road, dude, this is just packed, packed, packed. Um, so we were just talking um, as we were going through this um, that you're starting to get uh, requests. You're starting to help out the efforts over in Ukraine. We are, yep. And uh, you're sending disposables and things over there. We are, yep. We've sent equipment and disposables. We've done two containers, 40-foot um, high-cube containers over to Ukraine. Wow. Um, with um, more being requested. We're right. We're currently working on that now. Wow. Yep. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, this stuff still has so much use. I mean, obviously, it's all still, you know, it's all, none of it's ever been used. It's, and It's overstocked from the beginning of the pandemic. They right. more than they needed. So this stuff is, you know, uh, still in date, unused, ready to go, you know, patient ready. Wow. That is amazing. Like, when, like I said, we shut down the thing, and you're like, oh, let me show you over here. And then I see these rows and i mean this is dude this is filled to the very top of the, of the ceiling i mean this is a lot of stuff so well if you're looking for disposables uh you know get in touch with alex um you know that's the that's the reason why we do the what's in the warehouse videos because um you know you could take a few pictures but when you can actually really get a perception of what's here by going through and doing some video it really gives you a better idea how much stuff is in here. Yeah, aside from coming in personally, um, this is the best way to see exactly what's in our warehouse. Yeah. So once again, MST and Associates, um, we've, got, we've got two videos. I'm going to break them into two videos. So we'll do one that's just the original warehouse. And then, and then we'll do one here just for this warehouse, which is the disposables. And uh, man, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to show me around. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah.